Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys a few different tips and tricks that will help you create the best setup that you can create on your iOS 18 device. So you know with the new features of iOS 18 on the home screen and lock screen as well, we can get some pretty nice setups that are actually very good looking but also very functional so you can do a lot with them and have everything you need in actually one page. And we're starting things off here with the lock screen. So let's move on to the lock screen and we have a few things going on here on the lock screen. First of all, we have this awesome some wallpaper that will actually turn into dark and light just by tapping on it you can see how cool this is now this is actually very simple to create all you have to do is just download these two wallpapers which i will leave linked right down below in the description of the video once you have created or actually downloaded these wallpapers all you have to do is just create a new lock screen from here all you have to do is just tap the plus button and then don't actually go to photos, but go to photo shuffle right here. And once you're on the screen, just tap here, select photos manually. Now, once you have tapped that button, make sure you select both photos that you have just downloaded to your device and tap the add button. And now let's take a moment to take a look at Dr. Phone by Wondershare, your one-stop solution for your iPhone problems and needs with the ability to recover your data, manage your iPhone's data, or even manage your WhatsApp data. It has some amazing and useful features like the ability to unlock the screen of your iPhone, erase the data that you have on your iPhone, or repair the system on your iPhone and transfer a ton of different data between different iPhones. And one really useful feature, the ability to back up your iPhone's data, which is really important when you're updating your iPhone to a major software release. But with Dr. Phone, you will be able to back up and choose whatever data you want to back up. You don't have to back up everything. You can just pick any data you actually need to back up and tap the backup button. And not just that, at any time you will be able to also restore from your backups or even view the backup history of all of your data. So go ahead and give it a try by checking the link right down below in the description of this video. And once you have tapped on add right there, make sure that you actually zoom out. If you see the wallpapers are zoomed in like this, just zoom out all the way, tap that button to actually do the same for both of the wallpapers. And now what you need to do is just tap these three dots right here. Now the default will be here hourly, but you go ahead and tap right here where it says on tap. Now what you need to do is tap the add button and from here, go to customize home screen. Now on the home screen, we're using a different wallpaper that will also be linked right down below in the description of the video. You download that wallpaper, which is actually pretty cool. It's very simple, yet it will hide the background of the dock on your device. So it actually looks much, much cleaner. So tap on photo here. And once you have done that, just go ahead and select the wallpaper that you have downloaded for your home screen. And once you have done that, you just tap the dump button. And now you have created a, this lock screen. We actually have this cool effect here, which basically lets you turn on or off the lights on your lock screen. Now on the lock screen here, we have a few other things and you can see right here, the widgets. First of all, we have two widgets from the Mojo app. I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video. So we have an app launcher right here and here, but we also have here our disk space and an analog clock right there, which looks pretty cool. Now this does work so you can actually open these apps directly from here. As you can see, once I tap on one of the apps, it will actually open the app, which is pretty awesome. Now to add those widgets to your lock screen, first of all, you need to go to Mojo app. Now this is what you will see once you open the app for the first time. Go here where it says lock screen and there you will have your widgets. So you can just go ahead and find those. There we have them and tap on them and just make sure you save them and then go ahead and add the widgets to your lock screen. Now when you add the widgets, what you have to do is add the widget and then just tap on the widget and it will allow you to select one of the widgets that you have saved in the app. Now right here, as you can see, we also have an inline widget. This is from the MD widgets app, which allows us to actually add this widget in line, which you can basically add anything you want there. So it's a blank widget where you can add any emoji you want, or maybe any text you want right there, maybe your name or something like that at the top of your lock screen. 
Now another thing you can do here is customize the buttons that we have on the lock screen. Now here I have a couple of shortcuts that I use which I can launch directly from the lock screen. Now to do that you just tap of course remove the old ones, tap the plus button and then go to shortcut, find the shortcut one and then tap on choose and from here you can just go ahead and pick any of your shortcuts and add them there. If you don't want to choose your shortcuts you can maybe open an app so go here and again just search for app and they will have the ability to just set any app you want. You choose the app here and that app will be right on your lock screen so you can go ahead and launch it directly from here. Moving on here on the home screen and you can see here we have a really nice look on the home screen. So we have the wallpaper that I showed you guys. You have to download this again using the link right down below in the description of the video and we have here a couple of widgets. But first of all once you set the wallpaper what I suggest you do is go to the edit mode on the home screen tap here tap on customize now for this setup i use the dark mode widgets because the dark mode icons actually because they look really cool here but you can use the automatic one if you want to but using the tint here it doesn't seem to go well with the widget so either use the dark mode or the automatic mode of course use the large icons to remove the labels here from the widgets and make sure you have disabled this button right here once you have done that of course it's time to set up your widget so here we have a widget from the Mojo app, which is actually really awesome. You will have here a few different informations regarding your device, the current date, and you will have the storage of your device right here. And you will have a few different apps which you can launch directly from here. Now the real cool thing is that you can actually customize these within the Mojo app. So let me show you guys how you do that. So you go into the Mojo app and you find this widget. You will be able to find it right here. So it's a new one. There it is. So you open it like this and you can either tap on one of these apps right here and you can change it to any other app you want you can see it's as easy as that and you tap save then this will be saved under your widgets here on the app once you have done that you go to the home screen you add the widget and all you have to do is just tap and hold tap on edit widget and here from the current widget to go ahead and choose the one that you have just saved. Now of course you want to also use the transparent background so where it says transparent position you tap here and choose bottom if you add it to the bottom right here which I think is the best place to add it because it's more like closer to your finger here so you can just open any app quickly and you want to set the transparent background to set that for this widget and this one as well which is from another app called widget you have to just go to the edit mode on the home screen then swipe from the right to the left and you go to a blank page you take a screenshot right here and then you will have to use that screenshot within the apps so you go here to mojo first you go to settings and where it says transparent widget tutorial you go there tap here and here and load the screen screenshot you just took and then we also have a widget from the widget app i will leave it linked right down below as well so you will have the weather the current date and your agenda as well now to set the transparent for this one you can see how cool that is you can hide that and show it anytime you want you can again set the transparent for this widget as well you go to the widget app and once you're here just go to manage and then we have setup transparency you go here and here and load the screenshot you just took and you're good to go when you set the the widget it will ask you the position so you just place it at the top and you're good to go now as you can see right here we have pretty clean setup with basically everything you need here at your fingerprint now you can see we have removed everything else here we have just this page and of course we have there the app library and another thing you can customize of course on ios 18 is the control center now this is the setup that i use on my control center which i think is actually very very useful so right at the top we have all the toggles for the connectivity for the wi-fi bluetooth airdrop and all that so you will have a bigger widget which you can add there but i think adding them individually like this is much much better and gives you quicker access to any of the buttons then right here we have the music controls now this one is my favorite out of the music controls widget of course you can make this bigger like this but i don't really like it like it's taking a lot of space so we just make this like 
thin widget right there which looks pretty awesome then here we have of course the brightness and the volume controls we have here some controls for the dark mode the flashlights shazam and also the recording of the screen then we have low power mode and our focus is right there and of course i have a few different apps which i have at my fingerprint which i use more often so i can just go ahead and open any of them directly from the control center and it allows me to do that from anywhere i'm at, i am on my device whether i'm on the home screen or on an app i can just launch the control center and open any of these apps now to add those you just tap add control and search here for app and there we go we have the shortcut here tap on choose and just choose any app you want to use here and there you go you will have now that app on your control center you can have quick access to that app from anywhere on your iphone so that is it for this video guys this is how easy it is to create this simple yet very useful and very cool looking setup on your iphone in 2025 of course utilizing all the cool new features of ios 18 hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and of course subscribe for more videos like this and we'll see you on the next one